tau overflows fulfillment through centering fulfillment always happens when there is centering and your energy flows through the center through your interaction with objects and beings first energy moves outward creating the life of chaos conflict and misery and then one day the direction of the en- life energy takes a 360 degree turn to begin inward movement and one day it is centered this process is known as self centering or actualization first try to understand what is meant by self actualization it was abraham maslow who used the term self actualization man is born as potentiality but he is not really actual instead just potentiality man is born as a possibility not as an actuality he may become something also he may attain actualization of his potential or potentiality or he may not attain actualization is everyone needs to attain the opportunity may be used or it may not be used and nature is not forcing you to become actual to attain to your total potentiality you are free you can choose to become actual or you can choose not to do anything about it man is born as a seed thus no man is born fulfilled just with the possibility of fulfillment fulfillment depends upon the flow of your energy and its direction if energy flows outside outwardly while interacting with objects and beings means you are dealing with your spouse husband wife children if the energy is not centered it moves outward there is life of conflict chaos and misery this is what is the situation of each one of us the moment this direction takes a 360 degree turn or u turn it begins to flow within so in doing so it gets centered at some place because you cannot remain just like a traveler you must have a base where you are centered and from there from time to time depending on your necessity work or otherwise you will move to different places if your job is of a traveling job you must have a permanent place of a stay from there you go on your business or official trips in the same way energy m- must center at a place from there according to the need it will go wherever it is needed when this 360 degree turn takes place energy moves within then slowly and slowly your life changes you the seed begins to blossom the seed of consciousness the seed of awakening begins to open 
its path opens a star's journey and then one day it attains its total potentiality Abraham Maslow calls this self actualization unless your actuality is attained unless the seed becomes a fulfilled tree you will feel that you are missing something isn't it such is your situation and everyone is feeling that he is missing something that feeling of missing is really because of this that you are not yet actual not centered it is not really that you are missing riches or position prestige or power there are people who have riches position power yet they are miserable yet their life is of chaos and conflict because they they are not centered even if you get whatsoever you demand riches power prestige or anything you will feel this constant sense of something missing within you because this something missing is not related with any outward things riches pow poverty prestige status or anything is it is related to your inner growth therefore unless you are fulfilled unless you come to a realization a flowering unless you come to an inner satisfaction in which you feel now this is what i meant to be this is what i needed in my life this sense of something missing will always be felt and you cannot destroy this feeling of something missing by anything else anything outward so self actualization means a person has become what he was to become he was born as a seed and now he has blossomed he has come to the complete growth and inner growth to inner end the moment you feel that your put all your potentialities have become actual you have realized this you will feel the peak of life peak of love of existence itself now if you introspect you will find that you had everything but you were missing something and because of that you feel that your life is not fulfilled Abraham Maslow who used this term self actualization has also coined another term peak experience when one attains to oneself he reaches a peak and that peak is of bliss then there is no hankering after anything he is totally content with himself now nothing is lacking there is no desire no demand and no movement whatsoever he is whatsoever he has he is totally content with himself self actualization or centering becomes a peak experience and only a self actualized person can at, can attain to peak experience peak experience of bliss experience of harmony and oneness within then whatsoever he touches whatsoever he is doing or not doing even just existing is a peak experience for him just to be 
is blissful. Then bliss is not concerned with anything outside. It is just by product of inner growth. A Buddha, an awakened one, a self-actualized, centered person. That is why we picture Buddha, Mahabir and others. Why we have made sculptures, pictures, depictions of them sitting on a fully blossomed lotus. That fully blossomed lotus is the peak of inner flowering, peak of inner flowering. Inside they have flowered and have become fully blossomed. That inner flowering gives radiance, a constant showering of bliss from them. All those who have come even within their shadows, all those who have come near them feel a silent milieu around them. If you are around such a person, physically or in a subtle way, you feel a tremendous peace, harmony and bliss surrounding you 24 hours. There is an interesting story about Mahabir. It is a myth, but myths are beautiful and they say much which cannot be said otherwise. It is a poetic expression. It is reported that when Mahabir would move all around him in an area of about 24 miles radius, all the flowers would blossom. Even if it was not the season for the flowers, but they would blossom. This is simply a poetic expression, but even if one was not self-actualized, if one were to come in the contact with Mahabir, his flowering would become infectious. So even if you are not blossomed or self-actualized, but when you come in the company of a, such a person who is centered, you will feel as if something different is surrounding this person and it is infectious. It is infectious. If one were to come in contact with such a person, flowering would become infectious and one would feel an inner flowering in oneself as well. Even if it was not the right season for a person, like when it is said it is a poetic expression, your time of awakening hasn't come, hasn't started, the season of spring is not in the air, yet you come in the company of a, such a person, something will start happening within you. Even if it was he was not ready, he would reflect, he would feel an echo. If Mahavir was near somewhere, that person would feel an echo within himself and he would have a glimpse of what he could be. So this is what has happened to you. You may be miles and miles away, but if you have been physically or subtly in the company of a, such a person, you will feel that a process is beginning, there is an echo felt within and you will get the glimpse of what you could be and what is your destiny, what you will be once you have blossomed enough for now.